episode of World Review. I'm your host, Will D. With me again is the Grammy one. Eastside Harlem Rap and Wolby, what it do, my nigga? And today, we're talking about a little bit of everything. Uh, first and foremost is sports, like always. Uh, Super Bowl's next week. Patriots are in it. I'm probably not watching. <laughs> well, a whole bunch of people saying that the, the Saints got really robbed for that. Like, that call Yeah, really the thing, it was two calls the last couple minutes of the game. Um, you know, I mean, such a blatant pass interference. Um, well, listen, I don't know nothing about sports, but all I know is a lot of people grab me about it. We had a whole conversation with that old man and the, the, those old guys in the trains because they were so into it. It's and true. I was, and I was like, what? And then what made it worse is that when I was chilling at the game so my homies, this old guy comes in and I start talking about the Super Bowl because it was just a random thought that came out. I had homies like, yeah, you're going to Patriots. I'm like this. If I if ain't Eli Manning, I ain't watching. If it ain't the Giants, I ain't watching. I'm New York grind me to the end. He's like this. Nah, Patriots. I'm like this. Do you? He's like, nah, Patriots. Like, he just kept going. I'm like, all right, homie. Like, I don't care, bro. See, Patriots fans get all hyped up until, you know, they have to play a New York team. So it's cool. <laughs> Like, granted, they're like, oh, yeah, we, we always in the Super Bowl. But whenever New York shows up, we actually win it. So I'm, I'm have, okay with this. Well, have me rolling is that every single time we talk to that old guy, we tell him, yeah, but they lost to the Giants. You're like this. Still, <laughs> nine Super Bowls. In the- but they lost to the Giants. I mean, the whole, the whole thing is is that the greatest four syllables in the English language are 18 and 1. Because that was the Patriots season the last time they lost to the Giants. Almost perfect. Couldn't get it done when it mattered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you in all those games when you have to win one game, you can't do it. Yo, so they, they were they were mad too. Like, I just kept bringing that up because who who really thought the Giants were going to beat them either time, either yeah, time? Yeah, I didn't know they were going to beat them. I was like, no yeah, I was just did. hype. And then the whole time he's like, he just had a good defense. He just had a good defensive team. Consistently saying that over and over, Eli scum, Eli scum. Consistently, and, and Eli pulls out big plays, bro. Like even you were like, well, you kind of need Eli to make the calls and like throw the ball, and he's like this. Nah, he just had a good defensive team. I'm just like, you You kept it like this. Well, you do. It is a team sport. Like, like <laughs> Bro. <laughs> um, I mean, my, my whole thing is this, right? Eli is not his brother. Peyton is a much better quarterback. But Eli does things that his brother can't, which in- includes take a really bad hit and keep running. Like, that's that's what Eli does. Like, he, he takes, like he's like Brett Favre in that sense where, like, he can take a hit and keep going. Peyton Manning you hit him, he's down. You want to hear something fucked up? I didn't know who Patty Manning was. Until the, like, the commercials. Papa John's commercial? Yeah, I, I figured you'd say that. And then what made it worse is that the news commercial for the insurance one was the funniest one. When he was talking about retirement, he was like, what, have to, what happens after you plan for retirement? He's like, well, retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> <"Durr."> <laughs> <laughs> Well, The okay. whole thing I was like, so you're planning for retirement. Shit, what goes after uh, planning for retirement? retirement? Retirement. I got it, but... Um, and he keeps singing it like, damn, what goes after it, though? He's like this, retirement. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. So, y- you know, just don't don't hate on Eli as much. I mean, he, he won two Super Bowls. He, he's Patriot Kryptonite. Exactly. That, that's all, he, all we need him for. See, everyone in the league can get mad at Eli, but when you need a job done, who do you call? Eli. That's all I'm saying. Um, other than that, in sports – <laughs> That's messed up. Charles in the back cracking jokes about Mexicans again. <laughs> but no, um, I was about to say a wall joke, but I kind of stayed quiet because I'm not trying to have that topic. <laughs> to like that's the topic I don't even want to touch anymore. Uh, but uh, oh, well, last week we talked about Mariano Rivera make, making it into the Hall of Fame, but also from the Yankees, Mike Messina. So congrats to him as well. Um, and he was a solid Yankee pitcher for quite some time. Well, um, I don't know them too much. I only know like the big ones, like Derek Jeter, which he's not there anymore. No Alex Rodriguez. Not there anymore. No uh, hit, uh, there's a there's, Matsui, yeah, I, I not like, there no more. I know. I don't remember those from back from 2008. Like, but when uh, Mike Messina was legitimately part of a couple of championship runs for the Yankees. Um, you know, he was pitching before uh, Mariano would come up. So, you know, he was one of those solid pieces of the rotation that won some pretty big games. For like them. when they came to baseball, like if, if you, it was never fun watching it, but it was always fun going to the stadiums. Yeah, that's the thing about baseball. When you go to a, when you go to a baseball game at a stadium, it is a whole other experience when you have to listen to those boring announcers yeah. on TV. Because I can't stand watching baseball on TV unless it's a playoff game. Because you can feel you can feel all the tension through a television yeah. during a playoff game. Especially but, when it's like the Yankees or the Red Sox. Oh, oh you man. can de- you can feel the hate. The you, can, you, you can watch it on mute and still be hyped. Yo. 
And the whole thing is that they play like what eight games in total, or what throughout the season? Yeah, no, throughout the um, throughout the the playoffs. No, the the the, la- the World Series they play like how seven, many? seven max. They play seven matches, and then like they play. No, 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 no. It's they play up to seven. Right, seven innings or seven like uh, seven games. Oh yeah, sorry, my head's going because I keep confusing it with basketball because basketball is just like back and forth. But how do you have seven innings in a sport that has four quarters? No, you kept saying seven. <laughs> because that's seven is also for the finals. Seven is, is yeah, also this for my the – That's why my head no, kept going back and but, forth between. But seven's for basketball, seven's for baseball, seven's for hockey. I think the only sport that doesn't have it is soccer and football. You get one game. <laughs> yeah, Charles, I'm going to kick you. I'm still going to kick you, Charles. <laughs> Anywho, other than that, since I did mention soccer, the only player – okay, so in America, soccer is irrelevant. Soccer's only good when you're a white kid and when you're in the suburbs no, no, and you no, have no, nothing no, no, else no, no. to do. Pro soccer is irrelevant in this country except oh, yeah. to immigrants. Right? And Red Bull. Red Bull sponsors all these soccer. Like I, I mean, sure, they even have their own soccer team. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's relevant to Red Bull. Uh, essentially, it just, it, it's irrelevant to most people in this country. However, in this country, you, you probably know three names in soccer, right? Pele, right? And, and legitimately, you may not, but most people. I know people, Beckham. Beckham, and then Ronaldo, Ronaldo, right? So of these three people that Americans should know, Ronaldo is now going to jail. (laughs) So he's been hiding money from the Spanish government for a while. He pled guilty, and now he's going to jail for like two years or something. Whatever. He's going to keep all the mills still. This has probably been the most relevant news in soccer in this country since like – well, since Beckham came to this country to play soccer, no one could figure out why except for the fact that he was aging, and we're like, oh, he wants easy money. So Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, when I first saw Beckham, I thought he was a quarterback for the Jets for like two seconds. I mean, he pretty much might as well be. No, because can't I, be any worse. Yeah, because I saw. <laughs> I, no, because I, I think they had a quarterback called Beckham too, and I thought it was like no. he was the actual quarterback. I'm like, uh. so I was like, is he a quarterback? Because the last time always in the Jet stadiums or always him in the, I mean, the we have commercials. Odell Beckham Jr., but I mean that's that's different. I know that, I know that's a different Beckham. Like that yeah. that Beckham is very unique. Like you know him off like you be like, oh, that's him. Just because of the hair. <laughs> Just because of the hair. hair. You was looking at him like, true. oh, it's Odell. He started a whole trend with that. And Let me take a picture, Odell. Like, and, and he's half and half. Half yeah. you, half me. Max. So, you know, special That man. Caribbean life. True. True that. <laughs> Wouldn't that make him medium? <laughs> well, he technically is medium. No, he's actually quite a large man. Not fat, but large. Like, frame. Yeah, he's a football player. Oh, isn't he a runner back? Uh, runner? Receiver. Yeah. I don't know their names, bro. I really don't. I don't know their names. Ah, wow. Charles laughing. Wait, wait. Well, what wide you, receiver. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you make the same joke for a catcher? I mean, yeah. He catches balls all day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And on that note, we're going to head to our first commercial break. Wow. When we come back, we're going to talk some local news. Wow. Wow. It's <laughs> amazing. Like.
Pow 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 Dion Radio. things happening with the MTA that I wanted to mention because it's actually good news. For the first time? Like, for the first time. Heard you. So, first, the MTA says that they're going to be allowing trains to actually go faster. Big like, like for real. Because I don't know how many times my train is, like, legit, not even train traffic, just kind of... And I'm like, why? Why is this? Why is the local passing the express? Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo! And it's so but Yo, do you ever contemplate, like, why did I not stay on the local? Yo, for real, though. Like, that is the worst, because I'm like, bro, the only place that there should be traffic on the 6 train is the local side, right? Because some of those trains stop, and they have to keep going. No, the express trains stay getting stuck, and locals just be flying by. And I'm, how? Yeah, when two local how? trains pass by, I'm, I just get so mad. I'm like, I should have just stood at this local. For real. Yeah. I mean, so tight, because I'm getting off at Parkchester. Like, why is this a problem? But... They're going to be doing that, especially like for the R line, because they say the R line takes forever to get places. So they're like, we're increasing the speed limit. I'm like, you're underground. Why is there a speed limit? Who's blocking you? I guess when, I guess when it comes to the turns, they're probably like, uh, they kind of have to oh, slow Oh, the down. rats? They got, there's a crosswalk to the rats. Wow. That the rats? Sense. The cross. I mean, dude, if you're going to like lower stuff for turns, that's cool. But there's signs. That's, well, people don't realize there's signs and there are lights. In like the tunnels, no, right? No. So like, if you have lights nearby the parts that are by turns, understandable. That shit's a straight shot. You should part the trains five to ten minutes apart. Like nigga, let that shit fly. This shit need to be like Oslo, well, and you just zoom down the highway. The, the like, day I find out there was like there was uh, signs and stuff in the tunnel was, was when I was young, six years old. I used to be one of those kids that used to just kneel on the thing and just look out the, the windows. Window. Yeah, that was just me when I was younger, my whole life, because the graffiti was kind of dope. I was like, graffiti oh. is dope. I was like oh shit, nowadays I kind of took most of that out, but I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, it's cool. At least all that stuff up by the when you come out of the underground off the seven train, that's still there off all those buildings. Oh yeah, yeah, that's still so that's nice for yeah. now. No, they're going to leave that. I think it's like a landmark now. It's like a part of the skyline type shit. Well, we know the biggie thing is a landmark. But well, that's officially a landmark, but I think that is like, I think that's considered part of like the skyline officially. Okay. So, like there's certain, there's certain things in New York you can't change because like they've been considered part of other things that are, can't be changed. Got it. So, you know, you never have to like, identify. it's just kind of like, nope, part of that now. Don't touch. Got it. So, um, the other thing is that they're not increasing the fare prices just yet. They, they delayed it by at least another month. So, yay. Because it's another month to be like, we don't want it! Not to say it's going to stop it, but we get to yellow for a while. So, rabble, 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 rabble. Now I'm mad because pizza's going to be $3. Pizza is already $3. Yeah. 
pizza was always too. T- pizza's always been the, the price of Metro Card, so it's like the moment it becomes three dollars, pizza becomes three. Pizza is already three dollars. I pay a dollar. Oh, there are places you can get it for a dollar. Oh, 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 two fifty. But most places for pizza are like three bucks already, bro. Really? Yeah, like seriously. I don't pay three dollars for pizza. I pay two two fifty or a dollar. No, I mean you also in the hood, bro. Like everything's cheaper in the hood, but you go most places and you're paying like three dollars for. But a I'm in slice. the east side of the hood. It's not that cheap. East bro, side. it's still the hood. Oh yeah. Like you're not gonna be paying what you're gonna be paying when you get. What, down ha- to what has me rolling is when I go downtown in front of uh, Express on Forty Second Street. And I see the halal guy, and I'm about to get halal food. And I'm looking at this guy like, yo, I'm not paying $8 for this. Like, he's like this. It's better get a little price. I'm like, no, it's not. $5 is regular price. Not my chicken over rice. It's not $7, $8. No, chicken over rice is 5 bucks. Yeah. That's but it, he was period. like, no. He was like, no, $7, $8. I'm like. Does it come with the soda and a side? Or? No, it's mean, just that. I mean, you can, get, you can get chicken over rice for $5 in Midtown Manhattan yeah. with pita bread and the soda included. Yeah. So what kind of seven dollars is a set price? Like I don't have to go to the ghetto. You can't even get that in the ghetto half the time. Like you gotta go down to where the white people at and it's five dollars. Like yeah. I used to go by World Trade. Five dollars. And World Trade is a tourist site, so it should be prices raised. No. Nah. Well, I'm by BMCC, so I'm always there. So like all, all the carts are lined up on that That's one. what I know, that's what I'm talking about. When you buy World Trade, the ones that are closer to the highway. Yeah. Like, five dollars, and then you have the Korean guys. Five, like, all of their lunch specials is five dollars. Nah, it's except true. for the bento box, that was eight. That was yeah, that, that one, was eight dollars. Yeah, so. That was eight dollars. But I look at him like I don't want that. I don't do sushi. And I keep looking at. No, nah, but I mean, so you have you have that the, the 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 one guy on the corner of the chase. He has the five dollar prices for the students, so he just gives everybody five dollars. Yeah, with the much, drink, right? Much. You have the other halal guy right behind the post office. He be charging six, seven bucks, but he's there on weekends. So that's why. But no, there's always a halal guy in front of a uh, Bank of America. It's a little further down, but Bank of America right there in front of well, what used to be GameStop, but it kind of went away. Yeah, no. And so like there, he he also does five dollars. Yeah, I'm just saying like that. Well, you know, this one guy who's in front of act the actual school, well, kind of, he does it for six. I know, but I'm saying like you can't tell me when there are all these other carts around here that seven dollars is the standard. Nah, you're bugging. You're bugging. They give me five dollars for chicken over rice with the pita and a soda. Five dollars. I stopped getting lamb over rice. I forgot why, but I, I just don't like the way it tastes anymore. Mm, lamb, lamb is for a particular type of person. Like Caribbean people, we love lamb. No, we, we, I love, I love lamb chops. I don't love, I don't, I don't. Wait, what? He likes lamb with his jar. He only gets lamb gyros. Oh, gyro. I like it. You know what's a falafel then? He, he doesn't know what falafel is. You know what falafel is? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I had a falafel gyro one time. I thought it was the most disgusting and amazing thing at the same time. Because I'm like, what is this? He's like, he's told me some shit. And I'm like, oh, this tastes pretty good. And also nasty shit. Ew. Hurry the fuck up and change the channel. Like, <laughs> hurry the fuck up, bro. Oh. Like, I'm not allowed to curse, but sometimes I get really nervous. I'm just like, hurry the hurry. Bernie Sanders is supposedly running in 2020, which now has me very conflicted because I want to feel the burn, but I also want the Asian man to pay me money. Is the Asian man still running? Yes. <laughs> I want the Asian money too. I'm not going to lie. I want the Asian guy to give me money. Well, from what I'm finding, there was like mad females who now just decided to enter like six of them. Like six of them? Stop! Six females? Stop! One- one is Native American, one is Muslim, oh, okay. one is like no. one is Latino, no. one is white. No. I don't think there's a black one yet. Because we smart enough not to and waste our the, time and, with this and bull. Then, and then it was the it was, <laughs> it was the other girl who's always with Bernie Sanders too all the time. She needs to stop the the, look, old, look, the old one with the glasses. See, see, you told me a Native American woman is running. I might have faith in her because a lot of people are this whole like, well, they're the original people thing. So it could be, it could, it could possibly. She, right, right, right. Like, that might make America really great again. Um, <laughs> what, has me, what has me rolling is that there was so... You've you seen the video of, like, the, the Indian guy being the drummer in front of the kid, all that? Oh, yeah, they're, they're telling him, get out of our country yeah, yeah, nonsense. Yeah. That joint killed me. Yeah, yeah, and then I see the whole video. Then he see the whole video about the, the black Israelites harassing them. And shit. Whatever, not the point. So one, so one, so this big white guy who literally said, well, that's history, bro. We take land. And we keep it for ourselves. That's been going on for history. I don't see what's the problem. This has happened for millions of years. <laughs> like, this, is, this is how empires are built. I don't see the problem. Like, <laughs> this has happened for years. Like, what's the problem? And then 
<laughs> I just kept laughing because you can't argue with that. So it's like, it's been happening for many years. It's history, bro. Like, this happens. But you can because it's just like, that's kind of the point. Like, you're afraid right now of these people coming and taking your land, but it's history, bro. It's history. Yo, <laughs> this, yeah. this is how you build empires. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was funny because the kid, kid was so confused. I'm like, why the guys argue? And then he's like, Yo, it's history. Like, cause why the the black guy was arguing about that? He's like, this, bro, it's history. It's common sense, bro. This is how he was with me. He mentioned mad examples. Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great. He was like, this shit. America, America did it. Like, he was just like, <laughs> he was so he looked so conflicted the whole time. It's like he was so confused. Like, what is the problem right now? <laughs> like, wow. It's it's really. I mean, it's true, but that's the issue, and it's something that needs to be corrected. Point blank, period. I mean, here's here's and here's my point. You have all these people, Israelites, whatever, saying that oh, the black man, this, so all this other nonsense. Much. But then you're gonna have the same type of person saying, but it's cool, you know, because you know we've been doing it. Like, but then why do you want your land back so much? Everybody has a home. Everybody wants their home. No, it wasn't a name. It was just the white kid was just like just like that. But it's, he had me rolling the whole time. He just, he was like the star of this show, and I'm like, yo, this guy is funny. But I mean, I. The funny, how do you tell a Native American, get out of our country? Like, that's just, that's great. Like, that's, that that takes balls. That takes a certain level of stupidity. When I saw that video, I just got really tired of the black Israelites because the shit they be preaching gets me so fucking mad, bro. I mean. Like, I know I'm not allowed to curse, but you know the amount of anger they, like, bro. My homeboy was an Israelite. And you know what he told me? He's like, oh. The white man is technically a black man, but they did some voodoo, them voodoo witchcraft, and they became white because of a white leopard. Blah, blah. I'm like, what are you talking about, my G? Okay, so, I mean, there's a, there's a lot to get into with that. Um, essentially, with the whole, like, everyone is black, which, okay. We know that. I mean, that's that's cool. the, but then the reasoning is, like, you know, you, you have one group where, like, Asians did some nonsense with Sodom and Gomorrah and all this. So they pretty much literally take some of that biblical stuff twist it up and believe it yo but i that's for them that's for them we just gotta let them rock like let them scream on saturdays and sundays and yeah yeah on the streets because you know what i got an ipod i put the music in my ear and i'm just go like this and keep it pushing on one what has me annoyed is that they they in the spot that i have to pass by all the time so then just pass by bro and then no that's not even my issue my issue is like like you see these these like young like not young but these like ignorant people just going in front and be like that's the truth. I'm looking at him like, no, it's not. Science fucking debunked all of that. Well, no. he- here's the thing. If anyone paid attention, a lot of the a lot of the stuff that they said that they found or read these these supposed doctors or whatever, there's stuff that they got from people verbally telling them stories. Which, if you ever played a g- game of telephone, stuff can get very misconstrued in just ten people passing, let alone generations of people. But also, a lot of the time, a lot of their stuff doesn't have any photo evidence in the book saying. So, like, now, granted, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're going to believe everything that you read. I'm not saying that everything that from, you know, the, I like to say the winner's point of view history is all fact. I mean, it's I'm not, sure, but. but and, and that's why often you get stuff that's debunked and disproven later. Yeah. Um, but at least when they give you stuff, there's stuff that you can visually see and believe. And, and it's not orated. It's stuff that they've supposedly found and they have whatever fabrications or truths that they have found, and they show you. So it's more believable. Now, I'm not saying that what they believe is completely bleh. I'm just saying that maybe there's something to take with a very grain of salt. Because when you follow most global mythos, right, there's a lot there that you have to be like, really, mofo? But then there's a lot that you'll notice consistencies in their stories. Like, one thing that globally happened was a great flood, which then... Science kind of sort of backs up, you know, the whole Noah's Ark, star- uh, Noah's Ark story can be some true, the flooding, um, because you see the Great Flood in Indian culture, Chinese culture, and at least throughout Asia there was a major flood, but you'll see it in African, Native American culture, so it was global, which then asked questions to, was there life before the Ice Age that was us, right? Is there history from that time that we, we have? And there have been bodies found that could go back to times near there, that okay, so you know, like that no, there is thing. some like there is there's like, truth in mythos. So some of the stuff that they're saying there may be truths too, but it probably didn't go the way they think it went. Yeah, and, and that's why I say just take you know listen. I would say listen to them, hear their side of the story because the whole thing is in order to piece together the actuality of history, you have to hear everyone's tale to find the truth. You want to say something funny? 
if you study the Black Israelites and you read Scientology, they literally sound very similar. I know. I was, I was, I, I was like, what? When I read that, I'm like, what? So I mean, notice what two groups are in Harlem these days. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but back to Bernie Sanders. Feel the burn. On that note, we're gonna go to our next commercial break, and when we come back, I'm definitely voted for Sanders. <laughs> extra like, news. I have, I want the, I want China man want to give us money, bro. But if he runs with Bernie Sanders, I do. Dame dinero, dinero. Quiero dinero, dinero. Vivo solo por dinero. Me lo tiro solo por dinero. Dame dinero, dinero. Quiero dinero, dinero. Solo vivo solo por dinero. Yo me lo tiro solo por dinero. Yo quiero. Cobro el stack y lo saco del rack. Louis Vuitton got a ride on my back. Versace road, I'm on a road. Got a wardrobe, been to the toe. Giuseppe's a nati, banana, Herman. Roberto Cavalli, volvo con Bugatti. Soy el tipo que le rentan Ferrari. Gato el dinero y es como mi happy. Dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero. Yo quiero dinero, dinero. Quiero dinero. Solo vivo solo por dinero, solo solo por Yo me lo tiro solo por dinero, 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 dinero. Dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero. Yo quiero dinero, dinero, quiero dinero, dinero. Solo vivo solo por dinero, solo solo por Yo me lo tiro solo por dinero, 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 dinero. Le meto mano y flow con dembow. Siempre salgo con tremendo show. De que me pasan el rollo lampón. Toma de mí, arranca cabrón. Me la pegate, yo tengo que la te tengo que me quiera y nunca me deja dinero del viejo que no me la pega. Billetes de 100 que bien se me ve Suelta la tuya, coge la tuya Que se la pasa, aleluya, aleluya Le doy la cura y ellos no curan Siento una envidia que me murmura Dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero Yo quiero dinero, dinero, quiero dinero, dinero Solo vivo solo por dinero, solo, solo por dinero. Yo me lo tiro solo por dinero, 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 dinero Dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero Yo quiero dinero, dinero, quiero dinero, dinero Solo vivo solo por dinero, solo, solo por dinero Yo me lo tiro solo por dinero, dinero, dinero Sigo en la lucha y sigue la duda Tengo la cura que yo le gusta No soy segundo, pero primero Me encanta la sensación del dinero Sigo elevando, sigo cobrando Runway mode, acabando Tú si sí eres el amigo en veneno Puñalando, pero sigo creciendo Dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero Yo quiero dinero, dinero, quiero dinero, dinero Solo vivo solo por dinero, solo, solo por dinero Yo me lo tiro solo por dinero, 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 dinero Dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero Dame dinero, dinero, 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 quiero dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero, yo quiero dinero, dinero, quiero dinero, solo vivo solo por dinero, solo solo por yo me lo tiro solo por dinero, dame dinero, dinero, dame dinero, dinero, quiero dinero, dinero, quiero dinero, dinero, solo vivo solo por dinero, solo solo por yo me lo tiro solo por dinero, 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 dinero. All right, and we're back. So <laughs> the last thing about the city I wanted to mention is kind of a little bigger than the city, but the whole El Chapo case has been cracking me up in the news this El week. Chapo. I mean, bro, your main, your main chick seems to have your back, but you had a side chick, right? And then your side chick's the one to say, yo, the main chick was a part of it. They're mad grimy. They knew this and this. Then your homeboy comes out of nowhere and is just like, yeah, she's like she helped them plan everything, like throw her in jail too, all of that. And I'm just like, bro, your inner circle was whack. <laughs> well, they can't. They can't throw the wife. They, so, then that's his main chick and his technically his wife. They can't convict on it because of marrow, like marrow. Right, right. So, like, they, she can't. She doesn't have to like say anything at all because she's she's protected by the law. So technically, they can't get her for not spilling on him. Yeah. But if she's considered a conspirator to the actual crime, she can. They can exactly, and that's pretty much what this guy is setting her up for. To be like, yo, she go to jail too because she helped him do all of the bad things that he's on crime for right now. My, Not that she hit it, but that she did my, it. So I think I think Nick, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson kind of point made it a good point about this. He was like, how can um, like words, facts, like what people say, be one of the most valuable things in court when they're so inconsistent? Like even memories are so inconsistent. Right. When like actual facts aren't be taken that serious, 
So oh he's word, like his words saying that Pluto's not a planet. Yeah. So inconsistent. He's proven it by science. Nah, nah. He used words to do it. I'm not. I'm not having this. I'm not doing this today. He but like I will say, like he will say, he was like, why is this? Why does that hold up more power in court than an actual fingerprint or an actual like blood test or blah blah blah? Because it's the most fallible thing in that whole testimony. So like, this why is it so? So in that particular case, they can just do it to lie and get it chapel. I mean, don't get me wrong. She, for him to get married for that long with her, she definitely she had to at least know. Yeah, she. Of course she know. But she doesn't have to say nothing about it. Like, don't get me wrong, but don't get me wrong. She probably, like, either jumped in or not because I've been watching Narcos, so I'm pretty sure they all knew. Okay, so stop going by dramatizations of actual stuff because that's dramatization. Like, I know. Like, they literally say the warning. Don't, the yeah, like, don't don't believe that it went down just like it no, did. No, it, it went down a little more, like, realistic. Like, that was just all for, like, drama. But, yeah, yeah I, I, like, I know you, that. You know, and, and I, often than not, the guys usually try to keep their wives out of it. No, no, he did, no. Out of it? No, yeah, no, in, that, in that whole series, they make they make that an actual point. Like, yo, we don't want you in this. Like, the actual check. Yeah, people. like that's that's kind of like you may know what we do, but you're not supposed to be a part of it. Yeah. So for these guys to make claims that she was a part of it is big. Yeah. Like big because I mean, there's even a show right now, right? You have the um, that it's on MTV where it's like the children of a bunch of cartel people. Oh course, yeah. Right, and like all of them, all of them literally say like. Yeah, um, you know, we know they were doing stuff. We weren't a part of it except for one. And his, it was the, um, his mother was like the queen of cocaine. So he's like, yeah, so when they were all in jail, I had to run it in the streets. I even ended up locked up. Like, you know, so he's the only one who did it, who was about that life. But he was a boy. All the girls, no, my, I know my father did stuff. And I saw the cops arrest him. And da, da, da. they really aren't about that life. They don't need to be on that show. They don't. Like, ho, um, the, the guy, like his, his girl, her father was big i think he was actually someone who even worked for um uh, what's his name cocaine guy which one pablo escobar right um that was what to say which one Cali like the, he's the only one to really talk about like big so he worked no for, right so he so in colombian history he's the biggest one and in mexico miguel is the biggest one yes but when you think of cocaine you really just think of pablo. escobar right so like he, her father worked for him she found out about it, but all she really knew about his thing was that she was there when he got arrested. Yeah, his Pablo's son hates Pablo with a passion. I mean, think about the legacy left to you. Like, whether or not you're a part of that world, like, you're a part of that world. Yo, he hates, yo, as a matter of fact, he couldn't even be in that country. Like, he had to leave. Yeah, like, People wanted him dead. Of course. And he did nothing. Look, yo, so what had me rolling when I watched Narcos and people were like, oh, that dramatization. Some of the parts, they were like, oh, we didn't dramatize. This yeah, actually happened. happened. They show you clips and you're like, what? Yeah. Like the airplane part where they blew up, that actually happened. But that, like, that's the thing. So these guys lived crazy lives where you only have to dramatize but so much, but there are tons of conversations where no one was there for. Yeah. It. That's the drama. Yeah. The, the conversations that set them up. Right. The, but the actual thing, you're like. That happened. Like, oh. yeah. That's, I mean, that's the best part about it. Like when I watched Narcos and, they said, and I saw that big old, like, giant, Mexico, and I saw that giant weed uh, thing, I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. No, nope. this is real. like they have videos and evidence. And I like that part. They're like, "Oh shit, it was eight billion dollars worth of weed." <laughs> like what? Yo. So that's my favorite part about that show. Other than that, I think the funniest news story this week has it, ma- been it makes being a drug dealer sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Watch the last episode of all. Yeah, these those, that's the one part that messes it up. But the beginning, the middle makes it look real sexy. And then the end is always what they die or they or, get arrested. So yeah, no, not sexy. Yeah, but yo, look, no, 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 not sexy. No, because of these shows, no, 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 not sexy. The cartel, the kids of the cartel, like you have those shows now, like yeah, I'm these shows are dramatizing that, like making these like, no, no, sexy, yeah, sexy, no, no, the woman in them, yes, but oh, yeah, exactly, but get over it. A one. Now the funniest news story this week has been a guy trapped in South Korea because his son. Drew all over his passport. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that that kills me. Like these guys are. They, we think TSA is a holes. These guys are like, we know it's you, but since it looks like a cat version of you, you can't go back to China. <laughs> well, it, I tend to keep passport like the the actual thing is made of like a plastic coating. Can he just like wash it off? Dude, it's it's not an American passport. Uh, no, because I know in America you have that. It's like has some it. sometimes you have a layer like that, but usually it's a it's like a weird kind of paper. So if yeah. you wet it, it's still paper. Yeah. 
So like he's he's kind of he's kind of. Well, isn't is on Pat Boyd's paper made like money? Like money? Like you wet money? It's still money. Like it doesn't it doesn't like mess up or nothing. It, its value isn't messed up, but if literally can tear apart, then it's no longer valuable. So when it's wet and it brittles, like it has to be of a certain quality. Yeah. Standard. Got yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So he's kind of trapped in South Korea, which. I know for some people, like Kiki, sounds like heaven, but like for me, would be absolutely miserable. Yo, no, it'll be miserable. It'll be miserable because if I be if I if I become a citizen there, I then have to serve the army for two years. And that kind of yes, that's a dub. It's <laughs> not happening. Um, then God, it's not North Korea. That would be ten years. Like I said, that's a dub. Um, but then, uh, you know who Alec Baldwin is? Yeah, I know how he's funny. He's, he does all the Donald Trump ones. And says he watch SNL. All right, great. Had to make sure. Uh, so he has notoriously been known for having a raging hot temper, which seems like the exact opposite of most people he plays. Yeah. Um, but like his um, daughter's bad. Isn't she married to like Bieber now? No, they aren't married yet. But she's they're bad. engaged. Yeah, but she's okay. Bad. Um, and I get Bieber he props. he recently uh, ended up getting, I guess, charged. Like last year, he was charged with uh, punching a guy. <laughs> Right, like for a parking spot, and he recently just pled guilty to it. A year later, after fighting the case, just like, all right, I did it. And it gets anger management. I, I, I think, I think the whole thing was he was trying to make sure he doesn't get sued. Yeah, and I think, and then when he pled guilty, he realized that he wasn't going to get sued. He just has to go to anger management. Yeah, like that's like, such when, a great cop out. When, once, uh, once he finds out, like I think, I think that's why they prolong those kinds of cases. Like, yo, I'm gotta make sure I don't get fucking sued. Like, I gotta like actually like. Not get sued for this because he would have lost a lot of money on that. Well, from what I hear, he's not as rich as he thinks because uh, I don't I don't know if you ever got a chance to meet Cheryl. She was like this Asian girl that used to go to the ESC gaming things with us. I probably did, but I kind of forgot about her. So was she the cute one that was in, that was the? Oh, I was trying, but I found out she was she she was dating one of the head that she was. No, you're thinking of Erica. Oh, but she, <laughs> Erica's bad. Uh-huh. Yo, Erica, if you're single now, what's up? <laughs> I'm That's so- for the end of the show, good sir. No, uh, no, no, she she gets a special right in between. Like she was bad. She, she is. I I can't be mad. Uh, but um, yeah. So like he he's only getting anger management. I'm very happy because he can still do work. Because if we go, are, he's one of the only Baldrins that, despite having nothing but problems in his life, he still gets work done. Like he's great. And but the thing about it is he's not as rich as you think. Because like Cheryl works in um realty. And was saying that he was trying to apply for an apartment in one of her buildings, and they were like, "Nah, you can't. You don't cut it." Wow. <laughs> so she, he, didn't, he didn't meet the, the deadline. The they standard. were like, "You're like your money ain't up there. Your attitude is poor, and your work is inconsistent." So no, I'm like, "Damn." Boy, well, actor's job is really inconsistent. Exactly, but that's I'm like, like, "That's what most." But of them he's buy Alec Baldwin. Most of them buy property. They don't rent property. Like they buy that's property. True. Like, there's a reason why they buy their that things. That's true. Um. <laughs> And then, uh, have you ever you ever heard of uh, the Lost Boys? I heard of it. Do, do you know anything about it? No. Because I feel like this is a really big, like, for fangirls. Uh, it was, like, one of these super popular 1980s things that, for some reason, never died down. They actually made, like, one or two anime series and, and be relevant to it. When I hear the Lost Boys, I go straight to Lords of the Flies. Okay. Fair enough. Like you know exactly why. Yeah, right? I know why. So, like, like, that's the first, but I know it's not them, but it, my head just goes straight to them because of that whole book. And essentially now, the CW, what is this, 30 years later, is like, hey, we like supernatural stuff. Why don't we uh, do Lost Boys, but now? So there's a pilot being developed for a new Lost Boys series, which for Lost Boys fangirls what, what? May, may be like the new greatest thing, or they may absolutely want to kill it. The way I want well, to kill might, this Kim Possible live action. They, they might, uh, they might create some new fans like Riverdale and all them stuff too. Cause maybe, maybe, but because I know Supernatural has like a really Supernatural crazy. is dope. No, Supernatural, Supernatural is good. Don't get me wrong. After season nine, I stopped watching because you, you, you fail. Too many seasons. You fail. Uh, not the point. Anyways, wait. Too many seasons says someone who's a fan of South Park. I'm a, or, or or Family Guy. I'm a fan of them. Doesn't mean I watch their whole seasons. Like, no, I, I watch. I watch episodes that are feel. I watch episodes that are on the fuck. I'm going feel. No, they, they don't want you to watch the whole. Episodes. Philly, Philly, Philly. Not the point. Anyways, so I know Supernatural has like a nice cult followings of females. Like they're bad, bro. Like with the with the, 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 the too. Like, uh, you are so stuck on girls. 
Oh, yeah. it's, it's really sad. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't had sex in a while. <sighs> and that's why he keeps taking his shot on air. Facts, um, you know. <laughs> yo, the longer you get this dry spell out the fucking way, the better, bro. You know, the better I can. I apologize. The better I can get this dry spell out the goddamn way. Oh, we go. We go say, it's better than the F word. Anywho. Yeah. Like I said, Kim Possible live action that's coming out is so bad. It looks so bad. It's really bad. That's actually part of the trailer. Like, it's really oh, this bad. Is a trailer? Bro. I didn't know about it because I didn't. I, it's like, Bro, it is bad. They, they, they try to show a, a sneak peek of it, and it looks like. Like, this is an official Disney movie. And Disney movies have a certain quality that's, like, decent but cheesy. And, like, this, this trailer that they show, like, the sneak peek. Um, you can check it out. I posted it on the review, but like it looks so bad. It looks like below a D movie, like something that wouldn't even go straight to DVD. It's something that like they made made a bad and was 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 never. It's so bad. Like, on is corny. Kid is corny. Uh, the homeboy that's on the computer, the fat black kid, corny. Oh, he's corny. Well, the black kid was always corny. And was he always was supposed corny. to be. They were supposed to be losers. They were never corny. Like not not not. I mean like. Pocket protector, Queenie. Oh damn! Yeah, like is this the naked mole rat? At least looks dope. You haven't seen him yet. Oh. They they show this thing and it's like so pretty much the sneak peek that we get is like Kim going to school and like at least. she has to she has to save a baby, right? And then after saving the baby, she has to get into the school bus and the bus driver is trying to close the door on her or some nonsense. Is she back? No. No, but no. Okay, stop but being R. Kelly. Let me rephrase that. No! A female. No, 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 no. No. Technically, she's the high school. No. She was a, she was a senior no. high school when I got no. into it. No, she It doesn't start there, bro. Oh. Yeah, so no. I'm thinking of. I'm, Stop you know being I'm thinking R. About Kelly. I'm thinking about like the purple, the purple with the purple. You know? Yeah, no. The newer one? Yeah. No. Just no. Just no. It, no. So no. I'm so mad. I got hyped when they were talking about it. They even hyped it up with the voice actress who was also the sister on Even Steven. You know, you're like, oh, this is going to be great. No. Jaden fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling their party. <laughs> Give me that. Boop, boop, boop. Stop. Stop. You can't take him nowhere. Now, uh, I think only Will got that reference I'm, right I'm now. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to so get past that right now. So the other thing that was bothering me, so this, this was also what irked me. No, this this is also what irked me, but also something that's extra. <laughs> Stop. So the Oscars have dropped their nominees of all the different categories and like again. No, no, not again. No. The, Why? The, no, the Oscars. So what they do before, so that way you can go and see some of the movies before the actual Oscars happens. Oh. So they drop like oh we're for oh, this no, category. Oh no! Oh, I'm I'm thinking like they dropped the nomination. No, 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 no. no, no. Like, you know what I meant? Yeah, by, yeah, yeah. They so they 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 you know posted everything, and. Black people have two movies nominated for Best Picture, which is lovely. Except for the fact, how the hell is Black Panther yeah, one of it. these two goddamn movies? When it's like, it's not, it's probably the best version of the live action we'll ever get of The Lion King because this new thing coming out, the CGI bothers me. But, like, it's not even as good as The Lion King. Like, it wasn't the best superhero movie to come out last year. It wasn't better than Aquaman. It sure as hell wasn't better than Avengers, like, and then Avengers nominated. Like, I'm, this is this is tripping me up. At least they nominated Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Facts, because Spider Verse should definitely win like anything. Because I, I mean, although I love Wreck-It Ralph too, Spider Verse was that. I mean, I'm wearing the shirt, bro. I have a sticker of it on my. I am Miles Morales. I have a sticker of it on my. On my, on my I can roll my R's. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Well, how many rolling was like, I was watching a guy, he was like this. So we're just going to put the name black in front of every movie. It's going to do good. I mean, essentially. <laughs> black Panther, black classmate, black people, we out. And like, I, I mean. I was laughing. But it's true. I mean, I will say that uh, seeing black Klansmen up there kind of surprised me. I'm surprised getting certain recognition that I was getting because it was, although it was a solid movie, the ending of it just seemed way off. But I, People I, were surprised that the Green Book made it there. The Green Book, but the thing is, the Green Book is a surprise because it, I mean, it came out so recently. 
right? Yeah. Like it hit theaters recently, but, but so, so it had been at a bunch of different, um, like I guess, India events beforehand. So that's why it qualified. Well, and Bohemian, it's a solid Bo- movie. Bohemian thing also qualified. Yeah, Bohemian. It was, but it's, it's Bohemian, like it's Bo- Bohemian it's Rhapsody, right? Like, come it's on, it's I expect that. And honestly, if if the lead actor ends up winning for best actor, I have no complaints. I think he did a very good Freddie Mercury. I didn't see the movie, so I can't really like my, say. It. I'm going to see it though, but I haven't seen my, it. My my only complaint about the movie was that they could have done better on more of his personal life, and they focused too much on getting through Queen's top hits. Um, but that I don't think that that poor decision in direction actually affects the actor's performance. You know, I have role in. Some guy was like, some some guy was like this. Why are people mad didn't make a Bohemian gayer? <laughs> and people were like, it's a PG-13 movie. movie. Like, like that, that wasn't the story they yeah, were trying to they, tell. They weren't trying to be all about like, yo, yo he likes dick. Like, that, that wasn't the thing. That like, wasn't the point of the entire movie. Uh, but, alright. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, you know, it, it it was a good, solid flick with good acting. I just like the memes that came out of it. Like, this is the real. And then they kept buying pictures of every single t- lyric. Of the, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I just kept laughing. And I didn't believe, like, that was the action. So I'm like, really? Yeah, and I, and I saw the song. song. I'm like, yo, it goes with the picture really well. I'm like, oh, shit. Now, last but not least, before we go to our last commercial break, all I want to say is you can't keep a brown man down because Chris Brown got out of jail in three days. Enough said. We'll catch you in a few, folks. You're gonna take them down. You really <laughs> can't take them down. Dime bien que yo estoy por ti. Cada día piensas en mí. Conectamos desde que te conocí. Dime llore. Sabe bien que yo estoy por ti.
All right, and we're back. So, this is my favorite part of the show. I know it is. Uh, I don't it's know. It's only my favorite part after you finish this. This. Well, part. okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually hold the picture up here because last week cracked me up. Um, so after the show last week, I post up the picture on Instagram like I always do, and uh, Wolfie here found it necessary to take his shot back. <laughs> <laughs> Like Hold on up. Instagram. So listen, he told me that the girl looks good in his opinion, and I said, and I said, all right, cool. I'm gonna trust him because usually he hasn't done me wrong. Well, the thing about it was when I mentioned who it was the first time off air, he was like, oh, that chick. All right, cool. It's when he saw the other photo, he was like, nah, I take my shot back. Like the show, the photo that I showed you guys. So he's he's inconsistent. No, 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 no. no. Listen, what happens is they show me that photo. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, uh, and then I went to an actual like page. I went through the photos. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take that back. Like, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm She's gonna, an otaku chick. She's a, my kind of chick. Yeah, and I trust you because I'm thinking in my head, bad, you know, nice looking. When I mentioned, when I showed you the photo before, like the photo that I posted the first time on the page, you were like, oh yeah, not bad. That's a not bad, but I know it. Like you, bad, like. I didn't see the rest of the photos. So like, he's, like, she's really otaku. Like, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, a little I, too much for me. Like, <laughs> I need a bitch with a life. Like, like wow. A, a <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. You better, wow. you better feel that because it's definitely not, not doing another one to you. Like, so first and foremost, we're going to go with our Facebook fan of the week. Our Facebook fan of the week is Asiana Veramontes. So you're not going to get a good picture of her. I posted up her display picture as posted there, and, and it's her and her cat. Yeah, it's a picture, son. Just a picture. I made sure. You can't go on Facebook. There you go. <laughs> now, after that. Well, you're white, so you get like a 2% pass. Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, our, our uh, Instagram fan of the week is a <laughs> – I love the name, Raspberry Delight. Now <laughs> Yo, she's a stripper. I'm not fucking – now he takes his uh, he, he he takes his words back because he's like, well, how does she? That's my only issue. I, that, you don't need to know that. I do need. You to don't know need that. to know that. I don't, listen, nah. I can't. I can't. You shooting shots or that I, or that? Nah, not. nah. He's can't. shooting blanks, folks. He's shooting I, blanks. I, 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 blanks. The reason why is because I don't. You might be the, the same age as my mom, and I can't do that. Nope. My mom is forty-one and looks and her face looks similar to that. So I'm not <laughs> doing that one. That is not happening. <laughs> like if I show you my mom, boy, you'd be like, can I go to your house? Like. Nah, because that's what you told me before. I don't want to go to your house. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, all that time is like, yo, if you eat in my house, my mom will be the type of person like, hey, don't tell him to clean this. Well, I'll clean it for him. But if he's been there for like a couple times, she's going to be like, hey, yo, clean your dish. Like, she'll, she'll make him clean. He probably did. Charles' mom's probably done it to him, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, okay. But then the pick of the week this week is so true. And like I, I don't think I posted anything more honest in a long time. So it's simply a boy returns twelve thousand dollars to the police, and I just wish my son was never so stupid. If my son found twelve thousand dollars, he better bring that to me. Not even. I don't. I don't even. I don't want it. I'm putting it in the fund for you. Like, yo, this is twelve thousand less. I'm paying for school. Cool. We ain't giving it back to the Pope. Yo, did you do you remember the news story that came out? Like. Uh, one of the one of the armored cars, the back door blew out, so all the money was blowing on the highway, yeah. stuff like that. And some ladies were like, "Oh, there's twenty thousand dollars." And the cops like, "Oh, you can't, um, you can't collect it. You go to jail." I would have been the only like, "Fuck that! Gotta get a vacuum clean." Yeah. No, I didn't see nothing. I just see money. Yeah, me too. How, did, how can you prove I saw it flying out the vehicle? If if I found a dollar on the floor. Does that mean that I have to now call the police and be like, yo, somebody lost a dollar? No. No, but the thing was still But the thing was still flying. It was flying so much that they couldn't yo, I would have got there with a vacuum and everything. Like That's I, it. I would have drove once once and highway thirty three in Baltimore. <clears throat> this plane ride is Yeah, <laughs> for real. Like you're bugging. That's it. Nah, not claiming within thirty days. No one claimed within this last hour I get there. This <laughs> going in there with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> now, Now, before we go, the, the expected movie review. Got it. Right? Uh, so the movie that I saw for this week was The Boy Who Would Become King. Oh, right? the, the, uh, the, the, the King Arthur movie. The, the modern King Arthur movie. Right. So um, honestly, this movie I think is a really great family film. 
I, I if we're if we're gonna put this as if you're taking your kids to it or something like that, it's a four out of five. This movie is definitely not for adults. It, lo it looked a little to me like a little bit like Chronicles, like the the whole setup looked a little like. Chronicles. Not even it's it's a little it's definitely more than that. Um, I think it's, it's, it's the lighting difference is, is major. No, oh, because Chronicles like try to get dark and yeah. whatever, but it definitely like 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 for the 16, 17 year old. This is for the 14, 15 year old. You know what I'm saying. Got it. Right. So um, I mean, all in all, the fun tale. Um, it the characters have a little bit more depth than you would expect. The whole story is less about the whole King Arthur situation and more about the kid who is Arthur, really becoming a man, okay. like, and coming and coming into like realizing a couple of truths about his lives. So uh, it's it's not a boring movie for adults to watch. I don't think it's something that adults would want to see just cause. But it's a really really good movie film, and it's something I think that if you are an adult and you don't have else to watch and you, you know you got a streaming site it, it's not a bad way to spend two hours sounds like Even to so me like a spongebob movie no SpongeBob. spongebob movie is whack spongebob is whack <laughs> one of those the worst thing that happened in american animation in a long time <laughs> spongebob was so bad that it got rejected by cartoon network and put on nickelodeon because they thought that the audience would have to be too dumb to watch it so if you're a spongebob fan you're stupid straight up you stupid <laughs> the patrick star stupid no, you saw no, not even. I don't even care about the thing. You saw that the anime version that they made of it, like the theme song with the anime and stuff. If it's anime related, I've probably seen it. Yo, the, it was so dope, bro. Like anime's theme songs of like the anime version of American themes are American shows. Usually, when they do that theme song thing, is dope. Yeah. Like it makes it look so cool. No, no, what they so I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like they drew like all the fight scenes. And yeah, like, yeah, I know. I was like. Yo, and then, and then I'm like, okay, cool. It's part. They're like, there's no, it's a part two. What? Yeah, that's a part two. I'm like, yeah, like it's 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 actually legit. I was like, I want this much. But everything made anime is better. Like the best parts of the Boondocks were those episodes where they had the anime parts, like the kickball game, or when they when he fought the blind guy. Like, no, my favorite part was when he fought the um, the the old lady and the old guy, and he they, they beat his ass. Yeah, <laughs> yo, it beat his ass. So Huey's my guy. Yo, Huey for president. Riley all day. Huey. Riley. <laughs> you forget to say you forget to say Ryan is sick. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> <laughs> he said Riley, and I'm waiting for him to say he's like, just Riley. I'm like, just, no, I'm no, waiting. I'm not, I'm not saying it. You just said it. I said it the other day. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> <laughs> and folks, that is the end of this episode of Will's Will. Will, you're a bitch. Really? <laughs> really? Nigga, you gay. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Catch you next week.